Hi everybody, it's Lisa Orr here and I'm going to give you a little tour, a little taste of what I'm going to have um, offering on offer at the Dallas Pottery Invitational um, show and sale this year. Okay, um, let's see. Let's start here with some really typical plates. Okay, I call this a luncheon plate. Um, because it's kind of what I like to have for everything. It's my all-purpose plate. I like a lot of salad in my life. So I have salad in there. It fits that. And then you can put some meat or a patty or um, some, I don't know, stir-fried tofu or something on that. And the salad doesn't fall off. So I kind of like that. So Or pasta. <gasps> Be great for pasta. Anyway, um, here we have some two-part mugs. Right now, I really like a tall and skinny uh, mug. Here's my bike light. And I'm going to show you what it does. See, all of mine light up this way. Basically, when the sunlight randomly hits it, or maybe um, if it's in front of a light, or when you're drinking, you know, it'll do that a little bit, which is fun. All right, and I have those in different sizes. Here's a smaller one. See, it's got some sprigs on it. This is a fish sprig. That's a bird. And lots of colored uh, slip, slip trailing. See how durable they are? I just hit them together. I also have some, these are one piece mugs. And they are made with like just a simple handle that I mold with kind of a roller situation so that it looks like an arabesque. I think it's really pretty. See, they all do that. And when I photograph them, they're going to show their true stained glass colors. All right, next we're going to move on to butter dishes. Classic Lisa Orr item. This one here is for like Perry Gold or Plugra. And this one, traditional, regular old American butter. Um, you can see I have teapots back here. I'm really excited about the proportions these days of the handle in the spout. Okay, um, these are my flower brick candlestick. So it's, this is like a frog on top for flower, with flowers, uh, sorry, that can be used with flowers. And if you flip it over, it's a candlestick and it's got a little wire spike in there so that the candle doesn't fall over. So it's very secure. All right, these, you'll notice, one of the things that I like to do is, uh, because I do low fire, I don't want to leave any bare clay at all. So I glaze everything. I glaze everywhere. So it's glazed. I, met, I bet you're wondering, if you know something about ceramics, how does she do that? How does she glaze everywhere? She uses these. So I make these little stilts with uh, high fire welding wire in them, and I'm able to spread them out and prop up my things like that on them in the kiln. And so I do that with lots and lots of stuff. All right, here are some bowls. I, I have uh, one, one or two grand big ones and some smaller serving bowls. These ones might seem like a lot, but they are a fantastic fruit bowl centerpiece, pasta, play, pasta plate, um, um, salad with colorful, like chopped up vegetables. So gorgeous in this. I love framing my food with garden color. All right. Uh, something else special about these bowls is some of them you'll notice. Do you see how the drips go out to the edge? That's because they're fired upside down. Here I go. I fire them. Yep. You guessed it. Like this in the kiln and I have little, the little double rabbit ear um, stilts to hold those up. Anyway, so that's a bowl. I have some wonderful pitchers. They're not full already. Great for using as a vase or serving your favorite um, beverage. Um, and a couple specialty items here. So right here, Gonna turn this this way a little bit so it doesn't have, you don't have to look at masking tape codes. Um, right here, this is for incense and it's got two little holes and it's got a landscape on top 
like that looks like little mountains and there's some birds and then the smoke comes out and makes little clouds that whisper around. Anyway, this, so this is my landscape incense, incense pot based on a Chinese one. And now the serving masterpieces. So this is one of my classic uh, vase cake plate things. Let me get this mug out of the way. Um, you can see unglazed. This is before over here and this is after. What a difference, right? Anyway, so here we have a vase cake plate. And so the vase is like a torch and you would put flowers in it, same as the flower brick candlestick. And so it's like a flower brick on top. And if you turn it over, again, candlestick situation there, you would put a bunt cake here and stick the torch of flowers in there, or you could turn it over and use it for uh, crudite and dip or something like that, chip and dip, like that. And again, I really am entertained by the drips that go uphill. Totally love that. Um, and um, the last piece, here it comes. You can see it. It's right there. All right. So here we have for petty fours. And this has got a lot of pieces. I made one of these for a chef friend and I just kept making them. So this is a little platform, goes on top and you can put petty fours or fruit on there um, or something on top like a little like cake or something like that. It's got birds all over it. You could flip it this way, put some little cakes or some little, little bites of some sort. And again, you can do that and it's a platform on top or just put a vase of flowers right there. So look on the website, it'll have uh, examples of all of this. So thanks for attending my tour of some of the items that will be at Dallas Pottery Invitational. I'm so proud and honored to be included and I, um, I'm looking forward to seeing what everybody has. Okay, have a great day.